so we had we have two point charges located at x equal 3q at x equal minus d and minus q at x equal d and we need an expression for the volume charge density rho of r right so let's draw a little figure to represent what this looks like so uh, here so this is the x-axis y-axis z uh, you have you have a charge of 3q located here at minus d okay so the distance is minus d from here to there okay and at d you have minus q so let's just say minus q here okay And so since this is a function of R and R is a function of X, Y, and Z, you'd probably want here a, a three-dimensional Dirac delta function, yeah, to represent these point charges, 3D delta, right? Or in other words, delta cubed. Okay, so for that, we need to know at what vector are these charges located? Well, I can represent this first vector here right I will call it R prime or R1 yeah and I know what R1 is R1 is there's no component there's a negative 3 in the X right because it goes minus 3 in the X axis uh, sorry my uh, minus D right it goes minus d in the x it goes zero in the y and zero in the z and likewise i could call this from the origin to here r2 and i know what r2 is uh, this is d in the x zero in the y and zero in the z right? and now i can characterize my delta function or my uh, row so my row of R will be, uh, I know that it's going to be a delta function because the charge is only at 3Q. So this is going to be R minus R1, right? Times 3Q. So if you are at R1, oh, this is Q by the way. If you are at R1, the amount of charge will be 3q because this will pick up the value of the charge at r1 so it's going to be it's going to be 1 times 3q which is 3q except except that the units don't work out but i'll come back to that and now we have to add the other charge the other charge is, uh, so, sorry, this is a plus, right? Because if you're at minus, because R1, no, no, it's, it's correct, it's minus, right? So if you're at R1, you get 3Q, and if you are at R2, so this is R minus R2, you're supposed to get minus Q. You understand? Everywhere else, it's zero, except when you're at R1 you get 3Q when you're at R2 you get negative Q that's what this delta function is doing it's killing it's killing the charge density everywhere where we don't have charge except at two points R1 and R2 that's when you actually have charge okay except we got a problem here uh, the units don't really work out because think about it this is uh, 1 over meter cube or actually wait they do never mind because this is 1 over meter cube and this is coulombs so you get coulombs over meter cube right so so let's test this uh, you're supposed if you integrate you're supposed to get the charge, right? Yeah. 
Say that again. Well, no, in this case, it's going to be inverse meters cube, yeah? Well, yeah, because it's delta 2. Yeah, so so that means... Well, how come it comes out to inverse? Uh, oops, I forgot the cube here. So, so rho r, in general, will equal 3q delta function r minus r1. And uh, I could... I could Put what R1 is if I want to know. It's uh, R1 is uh, so so this is gonna be uh, minus D zero zero. Okay. And then the other one is minus Q uh, delta function cubed. And then here I have R minus R2 is D00. And this guarantees me that it's going to be 0 everywhere except, everywhere except at R1 where the second term vanishes and I get 3Q accounting for the charge at X equal minus D. And... Uh, Everywhere it v and the other place where the first one vanishes is at x equal d where the first term goes away and the second term picks up a charge of minus q at r2 that is at x equal d. Hmm? So this here would be what happened here? Your final answer, hmm? Questions so far on this? Uh, 